In this video we're gonna take an in-depth look at the new Viri 5 light mix and how you can change the entire mood of your image without re-rendering. Hey guys, Idan here from ArcVis Champ, the best place to learn the ArcVis Biz. Let's get started. So the first step before setting up the light mix is to have all your lights in place already set up. So as you can see I have several lights here that I've placed after several test renders. You can see we have a V-Ray light dome, we have a couple of sphere light which we light the table from top, we have another rectangle light on the side that, that will help emphasize the reflections, we have another uh, Vira light material inside this table lamp at the back and we also have another spotlight that will light this area. So at this stage most of the lighting work is already made. Now later on what we can do in light mix is actually change the intensity of each light and change the color. So let's see how we can set up the light mix. We need to go first to, to the render settings go to the render element and we want to add V-Ray light mix. Let's press OK. Now we don't need to change any of these parameters. Next we need to make sure that our uh, primary engine is not set to irradiance map otherwise the light mix won't work. So we're gonna switch it to brute force. Now let's go to the camera view. And after going the render process, the light mix will be available to tweak. Okay, so this is the render result. Now if we go to the layer section, click on the source light, map, light mix. And now you can see all the lights are nicely laid out under this list. Now another thing that I forgot to mention is you can actually tell V-Ray how to categorize the light list. So for example, if we go to the uh, light mix element, at the bottom you can see an option to group by. So you can group by instance of lights, individual lights, grouped, layer and so on. So we're gonna keep it as instance light. And now let's see how we can change and manipulate all the lighting in the scene without re-rendering. I will switch all of them off. Let's start with the dome light. You can see I can tweak and reduce the strength. Let's maybe add a little yellowish color to it. Make it a bit warmer. Let's enable the portal. It's just gonna bring more light from the outside. So I'm not gonna touch it. Let's see, the, this is the accent light. You can see it cast nice light on the reflections. Maybe I will reduce it a bit. This is the light that comes uh, from the pendant lights. I'm gonna set it to maybe a little bit orangey color. Let's increase it a bit. And this is the backlight. I will want to reduce it because it's too much for now. Maybe something like that. And we can even set it to maybe a little bluish color. And we have the light at the background. It's a bit too weak, so let's increase it more and make it a little bit more orange. Maybe something like this. So now I can save all these settings to a file. Let's call it mixed2 and save. And if I we do a reset, so this was the starting point, now let's load, and this was after the change. If you like the content so far, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Now let's see how we can completely change the lighting and make it an evening image. So again, let's reset, go to the dome light, turn off all, 
I want to reduce the dome light. Let's give it a bluish color. Not that saturated. This could work fine. And the portal, I can turn it off. So this is the accent light. Let's reduce it a bit. Maybe a bit teal color would work nice. So now this will be my main light. I want to make it orangey so it will complement nicely the blue light from outside. And let's increase. Now notice that as I start to increase this light, which had a very low intensity, we're starting to see noise in the render. It is better to lower high intensity light in light mix rather the other way around. But still, if we want to make this light the main one, we can adjust the overall exposure of the image. So let's increase it. Now go to the lights again. Let's decrease. Let's see, it was this one. Let's decrease it. Okay, maybe like that. Now let's decrease also the exterior light. All right. Also our backlight. Just a little bit, maybe we give it a bluish color as well. And increase a bit the backlight. We can go to the exposure. And now to finish up, we can do a couple of things. We can either push all the changes back to the scene. So if I press this button, it will change all our lights according to all of these changes that I made here. Or we can either click the to composite and V-Ray will convert these parameters into layers inside this area for further tweaking. So now I have a folder with all the light mix layers and I can change the parameter for each layer very similar to Photoshop. I can change blending mode, I can change the multiplier and so on. Now, if you ask me, I wouldn't count too much on light mix when lighting my scene since it only gives you the ability to change intensity and color. It's better to use it as a final retouch tool for the overall look. What's your thoughts about V-Ray Light Mix? Do you think it's useful or just a nice gimmick? Let me know in the comments below and as always, like, subscribe and I'll see you next time.